Welcome to our video number five within SEMA F3 financial strategy paper. This video will be focused around investor ratios. We will discuss three investor ratios. The first one being earnings per share, second PE ratios, price to earnings, and the last one is a dividend yield. All three ratios are extensively used by investors and as students of F3 you should be aware of not only how they're calculated but first of all you should be able to explain what they what they mean. First of all earnings per share. This is a very important ratio and you should be aware of that from your knowledge of F2 uh, there is an international financial reporting standard on it right it's called IS 33 earnings per share it explains how to calculate this ratio and again that shows how important that ratio is because there are no standards there is no one single other standard that talks about a ratio but this one this standard does talk about the ratio because this ratio is so extensively used this ratio is used for company valuations in the price to earnings ratio which we will discuss in a second and therefore it has to be clearly explained how to calculate it for F3 you don't need that much detail so all you have to know is that earnings per share is net income divided by the number of shares net income should be taken net of preferred dividends um, simply because that's and that should be income which is distributable to ordinary shareholders of a company what does this ratio tell us now this ratio says well first of all how much the company earned per share in theory that would be the maximum amount of dividends that can be paid and this ratio enables comparisons between periods because it shows the efficiency in which the company makes money regardless of the changes in the capital structure so technically speaking if you have some capital of 100 and you make a profit of 50 right that is let's say a 50% return on, on capital or return on equity whatever now if for some reason you issue new shares and next year you have 150 of capital the profit of 50 would be below expectations why well simply because your equity base increased and you would expect that equity to generate more money, more profits. You would, ex you would expect it at least 75 of profit. Now, normally, on those general numbers, it's very difficult to perform an analysis like this. That's why we have earnings per share. It shows how much the company earned per share. So it ignores the equity structures, additional payments, and so on. The rules of calculating that ratio exclude the impact of new issues of shares. That's why the efficiency of profit generation is best monitored based on EPS. And the second reason why it's so important is that earnings per share is the denominator of the PE ratio. And the P-E ratio is fundamental for company valuations.
Now, if you look at this ratio, it's price per share divided by earnings per share. Uh, so that is something that can be calculated for every single company in the stock market. For every listed company. And it is calculated, and you can find it on every single stock market related website. Uh, PE ratios for all companies, they are calculated and published there. So now let's assume that you own a small pharmaceutical company. you want to get it listed it's not listed right now but you want to get it listed and you think of what would be the price of shares of that company if it got listed so the easiest way to do it is to check the newspapers for average pe ratios in the pharmaceutical industry let's say it's 10 All right. So now you want to measure the value of your company and because it's a pharmaceutical company you will assume that the PE ratio of your company should be the same as average in the pharmaceutical industry. So now it's all about solving a pretty simple equation. 10 must be the price that your shares would have divided by your earnings per share and after a small transformation you come to the conclusion that the price of shares is just 10 times your EPS so calculate your EPS multiply it by 10 and that should be more or less the value the price of your shares PE ratio is fundamental. It's one of the valuation methods for company valuation. We will talk about it in the subsequent videos. Now the last investor ratio which we will discuss is the dividend yield. Dividend yield shows a dividend per share divided by the price of shares. It shows um, a return for the shareholder on the share price it tells the investor what sort of percentage of the value of the company was paid out in the form of a dividend that is an evidence of the dividend policy of the company and that is also an indicator of the split between the increase in the wealth of the investor from the dividend and the increase in the wealth from the growth in the value of the company. Important ratio, however, not as important as the PE ratio.